In fact, I have a girlfriend. Uh, she's extremely pro-vax because she's a doctor and her husband is a surgeon. So they naturally trust the science. They naturally believe the CDC guidelines should be followed to the T. And of course, when the time came, both of them got vaccinated right away. Even though I was a little unsure, she was sure, and she got the Pfizer vaccine. Since she has gotten the Pfizer vaccine, you'd think it'd be acceptable for her to talk about her experience with it. It's not. Since she got the Pfizer vaccine, she has had menstruation issues. She has not been menstruating regularly since getting the vaccine, and she has called her doctor. Her doctor has said that there is no evidence that it's the vaccine that caused this. In fact, even crazier, she went to the internet and she said, now I'm being gaslit. She went to the internet to try to look for some information. Maybe there's some other women that are having the same experience, and there are. There are actually a ton of women right now who are having the same experience with the vaccines. They are, it has completely changed their cycles. Now their cycles are irregular. And so now, of course, the press has gotten a hold of this and they're writing all of these articles. And one pediatrician actually came out and said, it is a biological impossibility that the vaccines are impacting menstruation. I don't have to be a doctor to tell you why women don't necessarily believe. You can, anything can impact menstruation. You can have a bad day and it can impact menstruation. You can, you can take a vitamin, it can impact menstruation, but you're telling me this, these vaccines, there's just no way, it's biologically impossible. You're now seeing the press get out and say that, that they are upset that in America, we are not going to reach herd immunity. Well, maybe that's because you are actively converting people that are traditionally pro-vaccine into anti-vaxxers by refusing to just have an honest dialogue.